Hello, everybody, and welcome to day two, round two of the 2017 Road to the Horse celebration of a cowgirl. I'm Matt West alongside the first lady of Road to the Horse, Miss Stacy Westfall. And Stacy, round one was uh, exciting to say the least, but here we are, round two. Uh, I think it's going to be a, a whole lot more of the same. Oh yeah, if, if round one was any indication of what we're gonna see out of the Colts and the ladies, we've got a show this afternoon. We certainly have a show this afternoon. As proud as we are of these four competitors, we are equally as proud that we make our home right here inside the Kentucky Horse Park. They have showed no stopping in rolling out the red carpet and allowing some of the greatest horse fans and clinicians, competitors, to come here to the most beautiful facility that we've ever been a part of you know it is a worldwide phenomenon that is road to the horse but we are certainly glad that our home is not only here in the kentucky horse park but here in what i feel is the greatest country in the world our united states of america and today we have something special for you a very special presentation with a member of our road to the horse family dan james as he pays tribute with his partnership of him and his horses to the tribute to the partnerships of our united states military The way a horse and rider work side by side pales only in comparison to our United States military. As we welcome our friends of the United States Army. The United States Marines. The United States Navy. States Air Force. And protecting our seas, the United States Coast Guard. American girls and American guys, we'll always stand up and salute, we'll always Recognize when we see old glory flying. There's a lot of men dead. So we can sleep in peace at night when we lay down our heads. My daddy served in the army. We lost his right eye, but he flew a flag out in our yard. Till the day that he died, he wanted my mother, my brother, my sister, and me to grow up and live happy in the land of the free. Now this nation that I love is falling under attack. A mighty sucker punch came flying in from somewhere in the back. Soon as we could see clearly through our big black eye, man, we lit up your world like the Fourth of July.
This big dog will fight when you rattle his cage And you'll be sorry that you mess with the U.S. of A Cause we'll put a boot in your ass, it's the American way Hey Uncle Sam, put your name at the top of his list And the Statue of Liberty started shaking her fist And the eagle will fly Of the red, white, and blue oh, oh, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, an amazing example of no matter where they are in the world and how far they stray, they will come together in unification to work under one common goal. How about it for Dan James? And a special celebration of our United States military. Indeed, that is the reoccurring theme, today's opening ceremonies. The tribute that sometimes we overlook and the opportunities we have to say thank you to the men and women who continue to bless us with the God-given freedom that we certainly take for granted each and every day of our lives. But you know there is indeed a special group of men and women who not only enlist but continue to protect and defend those freedoms that we take for granted. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I would like to introduce you to the newest group, the newest enlistees of our United States Army and Army Reserves, led by Staff Sergeant Platt, accompanied by First Sergeant Mitchell Hawkinson and Captain Dustin Wallace of our United States Army and Army Reserves. Good afternoon. My name is First Sergeant Hawkinson. I'm the senior non-commissioned officer for all the Army and Ar Army Reserve recruiting operations within Central Kentucky. <laughs> we are incredibly honored to take part in such a remarkable event. Even though none of us originate from this area, Lexington has welcomed us with open arms, and we are proud to call Kentucky our home. Our non-commissioned officers and their families are dispersed throughout Central Kentucky with recruiting centers in Frankfurt, Lexington, Richmond, Moorhead, London, and Somerset. Our soldiers come from all different walks of life and Army posts throughout the world bringing in a unique aspect of experience and knowledge for anyone that is interested in joining the United States Army and Army Reserves. But our job doesn't stop there. We are fathers, mothers, teachers, coaches, mentors, and volunteers that play an active role in the communities in which we serve. Today's event is going to display some of the most talented cowgirls ever to roam the earth. They are strong, determined, and skilled in what they do. Our great army shares that common trait, with women serving and leading in every skill set and job we have to offer. Behind me, we have leaders, future soldiers, future officers, future medics, mechanics, nurses, crew chiefs, special operators, infantry soldiers, and many more that all share a common denominator. They have all been raised to be Wildcat fans. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
We are here today in the spirit of this event to highlight all, but especially our female service members, past, present, and future. Ones standing behind me now, female service members are a crucial part to the Army's mission and its continued success. I would like to ask all service members and veterans who are in the arena today to please stand and remain standing and join me in a round of applause for the sacrifices and service you have provided to continue. As you can see, Kentucky loves you guys. We wish the very best in your journey and take pride in serving alongside you. And know that Kentucky honors your service and continued service and leadership within your community. Without further ado, please welcome Captain Wallace, our company commander, who will conduct an oath of enlistment to the future leaders that stand behind me today. <clears throat> Captain Wallace. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. I state your name. Do you solemnly swear, swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, against all enemies foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, and that I will obey the orders of the President of the United States And the, order, and, the officers, and the orders of the officers appointed over me, according to the regulations and the Uniform Court of Military Justice. So help me God. And now, for the singing of our national anthem, please welcome Sergeant First Class Ivy Alexander.
Vince, I'm going to ask you one more time, as loud and as proud as you possibly can, not just for the stars and stripes carried by Dan James, but for these talented men and women standing before you today who serve to defend and protect our United States of America. God bless each and every one of you, your families, and we thank you for your service. We thank each and every one of you for being here at the Kentucky Horse Park with us to continue our 2017 edition of Road to the Horse celebration of the Cowgirl. And we know many of you are many time attendees here in Lexington, Kentucky. We are certainly proud to have each and every one of you back. We are also extremely proud to have back the real stars of the show. We watched them run the Remuda a couple of times already this weekend, and we know every road leads to the Four Sixes Ranch and the amazing Colts led by Mr. Phil Fox. Big thank you to the Four Sixes Ranch. It is the World Championships of Colts starting. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Road to the Horse. Once again, essential for the cowboy life, it is a Western horseman led in by the lady herself, Miss Jessie Wade. And the stars and stripes that are once again our home country, keeping us in love with these equine. Unmatched quality, our friends at Platinum Performance back with us. So is Zoetis, the world's largest producer of medicine and vaccination for pets and livestock. The American Quarter Horse, America's Breed, the official brand registry and member association for the American Quarter Horse and the official truck of Road to the Horse. It is Ram, Guts, Glory, Ram. You know the drill, lead, don't follow. That's why our friends at Sanch are joining us back at Road to the Horse. Let your journey begin with the U.S. Hunter Jumper Association. Big thanks to them for rolling out the red carpet for us once again. And if you're looking for a complete line of feeds and supplements, designed to provide optimum nutrition, then look no further than our friends at Neutrina. Neogen Whole Health Solution for Animals. A big thanks to the folks at Suncoast Pine Shavings, world leader back as a part of our Road to the Horse family. ABI Equine Complete Footing Solution. And you know who they are. They are the company Cowboys Keep. Martin Saddlery back with us in 2017, where tomorrow we will see a young lady capture that coveted Gist Sophisticated Style Championship buckle. Equine equipment, big thanks to the official Road of the Horse Power Equipment. And you can bring out the natural luster, your hair, your pet's mane, tail, and coat with our friends at Espana Silk. Jug water, clean, fresh water, always. The world's best equine competition facilities right here in the Kentucky Horse Park in the Commonwealth of Kentucky, the horse capital of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, as they make their way out, they are the Norwegian Fjord Quadrille. Joining us as a part of our drill team competition, it is all of those folks that continue to make this all possible. How about a big round of applause and thank you to our friends and partners at Road to the Horse. They are but a few of the many, 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 many men and women who make this a continued success. Once again, horse lovers from not just in these United States, but around the world. Travel right here to the Kentucky Horse Park each and every year to find out who will be crowned Road to the Horse Champion. And it is largely in part due to these folks that continue to help us on our journey we're finding out who can be crowned world champion.
While we make our home underneath the stars and stripes of our United States of America, once again, it is the Commonwealth of Kentucky that continues to be the horse capital of the world. And much of that is largely in part of the gentleman in the back of this beautiful Ram pickup truck. Would you join me as we say welcome back to Road of the Horse, Senator Reggie Thomas, a proud member not only of your great state of Kentucky, but a proud member of our Road to the Horse family. In the back of that beautiful Dodge, Senator Thomas, once again, on behalf of all of us here in Lexington at Road to the Horse, we thank you for your continued support of this tremendous spectacle. distinguished partners and guests that we will bring into the arena and we begin by saying thank you to the executive director of the Kentucky Horse Park Miss Laura Pruitt you see an entire list the Western Horseman the Four Sixes Ranch WW Livestock Systems Zoetis the AQHA Ram Trucks Platinum Performance Neutrina ABI Equine Giz Silversmith Cowgirl Magazine. I told you about our friends at Cinch and Suncoast Shavings. The U.S. Hunter Jumper Association had a tremendous party for us last night. Hagyard Pharmacy, Martin Saddlery, Yeti, Built for the Wild, Equine Equipment, Colorful Manes and Tails. My man J.W. Brooks on the back of that trailer with J.W. Brooks Custom Hats Forever, Cowgirl, Jug Waters, Mr. Pritchard, Pritchard's Distillery, Espana Silk, Horseware, Ireland, Neogen, Reba, Spalding Labs, Equine Monthly, Horse Magazine, and Horse Radio Network. Once again, uh, joining us on the back of that trailer, compliments of our friends at Ram. Would you do me a favor? How about a big round of applause and thank you to all of our friends and partners back for yet another year. Well, the three that will accompany them, bring it up the rear, so to speak. They are no strangers to Road of the Horse, and they are definitely no strangers to our Road to the Horse fans. Again, I'll introduce them to you from the wall in. The executive director right here of the Kentucky Horse Park, riding our friend Woodford. Ladies and gentlemen, how about you say hello and thank you to Miss Laura Pruitt. Next to her, well, you know her. She's decked out pretty in pink, and as always, she shines brighter than every star in the room. This, well, her dream has become a reality. Big round of applause aboard Speedy Cream. How about a thank you to Miss Tootie Bland? You know that horse on the inside looks like a familiar face as well to Road of the Horse fans. I believe that is old Trace. And that man on his back is no stranger to a saddle. Folks, without this man and his cast of characters, None of this would be possible. From our friends the Four Sixes Ranch, big thank you, if you would, to Dr. Blodgett joining us one more time. 